Celebrity transformations can happen suddenly or they can happen more gradually. Sometimes they are a major glow up and other times they are more of a, well, not a glow up. The changes can sometimes be shocking, so let's take a look at top 10 transformations in the last decade. I'm your host, Joss. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Come say hi to us outside of YouTube. You can find our Instagram links down below. And make sure you get through this list with me so you do not miss out on the bloopers and comment features at the end. But for now, let's get into our transformation lookbook. Starting off the list of number 10 is Calvin Harris. The 35 year old DJ is a stud nonetheless and has been flaunting his now famous muscles. But he didn't always look like he does now. He was once a young musician with a questionable taste in clothing and box dyed hair. But throughout the last decade, he has had a major transformation, which he says comes from being bullied when he was younger. Turns out he was bullied for his height. He is currently six foot five and says that as a kid, he was always the tallest person in the class. During an interview with The Sun, he said, it was hard being the tallest person in the class, especially when you are a teenager. You want to keep your head down. You don't want people to look at you. It's only in the last five years that I've come to terms with the fact that I am a big, tall bastard. Obviously, his height hasn't changed, but his attitude has and his more recent appearance. His wardrobe has upgraded. He's rocking the scruffy face and clean cut and colored hair, not to mention his new rocking bod. He has been hitting the gym and it shows. At number nine is Tom Hardy. This guy knows a thing or two when it comes to body transformations. He caked on pounds of muscle to play Bane in The Dark Knight Rises and his Bane body has stuck with him since. He transformed himself entirely into one of the most physical and dominating villains of all time, adding over 30 pounds of muscle to his frame. And although he looks incredible, he's the first person to admit that the transformation wasn't easy. During an interview with The Daily Beast, he said, I think you pay the price with any drastic physical changes. If I keep putting on weight, I will collapse like a house of cards under too much pressure. Probably true. His overall appearance changed with the role though. He got rid of all his facial hair, which drastically changes a guy's appearance. Don't even lie. And he also rocked a bald head, which we weren't used to seeing on the actor. Regardless, he still looked like a babe. Apparently, I'm just hitting on everyone on this list. Everyone on this list looks hot, apparently. Swiping the number eight spot is Ariana Grande. Gotta be honest with you guys, looking back at old pictures of her, I would have never known that it was Ariana unless you told me. Before she was the pop sensation that we know her as today, she was starring as Kat Valentine on the Nickelodeon TV series of Victorious. And boy, did she look different. On the show, she was rocking some bright red hair, which is enough to make her look completely different. But pictures of service online when she was 16 years old and first auditioned for the show. She was rocking some eyeliner and her natural short brown hair. They died her hair for the show within the first two weeks because the producers didn't want the entire cast to be brunette. But even since her red hair days, she looks wildly different. Her lips are noticeably bigger, her hair is incredibly longer, and she is way more bronze than ever before. People have actually accused the singer of black facing. After her Vogue cover was released earlier this year, people online said it looked like she was trying to represent a black woman. One Twitter user wrote, y'all remember when Ariana Grande wasn't performing blackface on the daily? I mean, her appearance does look completely different than before, but I feel like accusing her of blackface is just a little too far. Like, I don't know if those are her intentions. What do you guys think? Is this a case of blackface? I wanna hear from you. Tell me down in the comments. Coming to the number seven spot is Jonah Hill. My brother had a serious glow up. I'm not being rude when I say that when he first came into Hollywood, he was a bigger guy. And because of his size, he was booking comedic roles that would fit both his size and personality. You know, like the fat friend. Not to be rude, it's just a fact. But he shocked everyone with his transformation in more recent years. Pictures started to surface online of him walking down the street and no one around him was even recognizing him. I don't blame them though. Honestly, if he walked by me looking like he does now, like I wouldn't look twice. It wouldn't clue in and be like, oh my God, that's Jonah Hill, you know? The biggest transformation has been his weight. He first slimmed down for his role in 22 Jump Street back in 2014, but then he gained 40 pounds back for his 2016 role in War Dogs. His weight has fluctuated throughout the years, but he currently looks healthier than ever. But on top of the difference in his weight, he's also rocking some new glasses, a big bushy beard, and some arm tattoos. Can't say I ever pictured Jonah Hill with arm tattoos. 
Cruising into spot number six is Taylor Swift. She's actually one of the few celebrities in Hollywood to not go under the knife and completely change her look with plastic surgery. But she has grown up in front of the entire world and she no longer looks like the 16 year old country singer that we are first introduced to. When we first met her, she was rocking country boots, blonde ringlets, an acoustic guitar, and all of her songs fell under the country category. But over the last decade, her music and looks both transformed into the pop mainstream. After her album released in 2012, she started to make her official transition into pop, but it still featured some country sound to it. But then her next album, 1989, was fully pop and shot up to the top of the Billboard Hot 100 charts, so we no longer saw her taking home any country awards. Nowadays, she chopped her hair short, the ringlets are gone, her style is more edgy, and her lyrics are very controversial, which I am personally all for. I like her transformation. To me, it's kind of cool to see her start out as a country artist and then completely change into the pop world. I know that not everyone was supportive of that whole change, but I'm on board with it. Halfway through the list at number five is James McAvoy. He's been in the industry for some time now, but he grabbed everyone's attention when he took on the lead role in the movie Split. In the movie, we saw a bald, thick, jacked, badass looking dude who could climb up walls like a spider monkey. But if you look back on older pictures, you would have a harder time recognizing him. He used to be a thin guy with a full head of hair who dressed like he was Mr. Rogers. No offense, man. But in order for him to take on the role of a real monster, he had to put on some weight and change his overall look. During an interview, he shared his transformation process and said that when he was bulking up for Split, he was on an extremely tight schedule. He only had a short period of time and said that he did powerlifting five days a week and ate a lot of protein. Instead of eating two eggs in the morning, like normal people would eat, he said that he would eat eight. Eight. The transformation has stuck with him because after Split was done and over with, he was prepping for the sequel, Glass, where he was going to be head to head with Bruce Willis and needed to bulk up even more. It's a really impressive transformation. I think I just assume that this is what he always looked like because his frame is just so much bigger now, but it still looks natural. You know, like he doesn't look like he's on steroids. It looks like he's just like a bigger dude. Here we are at number four with the one and only Kim Kardashian. Before she became a household name back in 2006, she was known for being the best friend of the it girl at the time, Paris Hilton. Now let me tell you, she looked a lot different back then compared to now. After her sex tape was released in 2007, she started to rise to fame and that was when her transformation slowly started to happen. First it was her lips, then it was her breasts, then the rest of her face, then her body, then her booty. Basically her entire appearance has changed and thankfully her style too because girl, some of those red carpet looks were a hot mess. Minus the hot. She even dabbled in some hair dye at one point and went to a honey blonde color. Overall, she is rocking a completely new face and body, although she likes to insist that a lot of it is real, but the proof is in the pudding. She looks nothing like she used to when she was actually her natural self. All right guys, in the third spot we have Josh Peck, but you would better know him just as Josh from the hit TV series Drake and Josh. He took the lead role on the show from 2004 to 2007 and people fell in love with his goofy character. He was just 17 years old when he played the title character and he looked a lot different with his curly brown hair, plaid shirts, and chubby frame. Nonetheless, he was a cutie. But along the way, his looks started to drastically change. For one, he grew up, which probably had something to do with it, but his style started to change and so did his hair. At one point, he even grew out his hair and straightened it, looking like some sort of Green Day band member or some shit. But after that phase was over, he cut his hair, grew a beard, and got fit. He is no longer the chubby teen or the Green Day wannabe. He is now a 33-year-old DILF. Yes, that is right. He is a hot dad, and he has a son named Max. And yes, he is married, so I should probably stop talking about him that way. Filling in our number two spot is Amanda Bynes. She was one of Hollywood's biggest stars and between the Amanda show, She's the Man and What a Girl Wants, nobody did it better than her. Her career officially started back in 1998 and she quickly became a huge child star, being the youngest cast member on the show, all that. From there, she became a Nickelodeon starlet and then began her own career when she did her debut feature film in 2003, What a Girl Wants. She's always been a beautiful girl, not to mention her hilarious personality and incredible talent. At first, she just had some minor changes Changes throughout the years, different hair colors, style changes, minor lip fillers. But in 2012, trouble hit when she was first arrested several times for driving under the influence. That seems to be when her transformation really began. She wore these crazy wigs, got piercings in her cheeks, got some tattoos. Now, she's openly talked about her struggles with drugs and depression, so her transformation makes more sense when you know the backstory of what she was going through during that time. She is currently rocking both blue and pink hair and a septum nose ring, according 
heading to her new Instagram page. Taking the number one spot is Caitlyn Jenner. Now, before I get started, this in no way is to bash her transformation or poke fun at it. It just was the biggest transformation of the decade and one that I personally am in full support of. Back in April 2015, Bruce Jenner officially came out as a trans woman and publicly announced in July that her name was going to legally be changed to Caitlyn. The overall transformation from Bruce to Caitlyn was such a big deal because the world knew Bruce as the strong male athlete who competed in the Olympics. So of course, the drastic change was shocking to a lot of people. Not to mention, we were so used to seeing him as Bruce on the reality show Keeping Up With The Kardashians, where he was the father of the Kardashian and Jenner girls, as well as Kris Jenner's husband. But the transformation also had a very positive impact on the LGBTQ community. Bruce was 65 years old when he came out with his transition, and he did it in front of the entire world, which has encouraged others to feel comfortable with their own transitions and personal timelines. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the top 10 countdown for today. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments and hit the thumbs up button so that I know you liked it. While you do that, let's check out some comments from some of my other videos. Dwayne Martin says, I'd rather hear Josh swear than listen about has been actors. Well, luckily, I give you both. I really need to work on the swearing thing. I feel like I swear too much. Harper Hex says, I didn't realize you had another channel. Surprise, this is actually my main channel. You can also see me on Inform Overload and our new channel, Top 10 Central. Shameless shout out right there. Kathy Prentice says, anyone ever tell you that you could dress up a share for Halloween and pull it off? No, but I am thrilled by that and maybe I will try that out next year, but I'm not singing, so. Andrew Carey Sr. says, Canadian tuxedo. Okay, I heard this from a lot of people. Apparently when you wear denim on denim, it's called a Canadian tuxedo, and I've never heard of this, and I don't really know why, but okay. All right guys, that is our list. Make sure you leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. You can also watch more of our videos. Just stay on this screen, but first, enjoy the bonus content. I wear them as bracelets all the time. I don't have jewelry. <laughs> I don't have nice jewelry, so I wear scrunchies. I didn't even know what he looked like, to be honest. I saw a picture, I'm like, what? I didn't know he's hot. He's like a ginger blonde, it's weird, but he's hot. I didn't know. No one told me Calvin Harris was hot. I could have like been dating him this whole time. God. To play the Bane, to play the Bane, oh wow. To play Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. She just gets a spray tan. Nothing wrong with spray tan. Like, I like being really tanned. I'm not tanned right now, but I like it. But I'm not trying to be a black woman just because I like being tanned. They got nice skin. I'm so pale. I'm sorry, Joan Hill, I'm not I'm not hitting on you. Not, no. Everyone else maybe, but eh, just, you know, doesn't cut it for me, I guess. <laughs> she was a very cute country singer, though. I think she does both really well. Happy the list at number five is James McGavy. Ooh, I don't know how to say his last name, actually. No, you said it. It's the guy from Split, but I just know him from the guy from Split. McAvoy, I'll say it. He said that he would eat eight, eight. I'd probably throw up my eight eggs. Eight eggs, <laughs> that came out so weird. <laughs> where he's going to be head to head with Bruce Willis and needed to bulk up even more. It, <laughs> that was me bulking up. Sarah's desperate to get your hair, so I wouldn't surprise. We had to shave it for the roll. Mm, oh, is he on steroids? Chris is calling the shots here. Like all other guys He's not like, though. can't just get jacked in two months. Just hold, here's 30 pounds. Supplement, yeah, I guess. Can't Chris. It's only. It's only, mm, I'm hitting on everyone on this list. You all hot. One of you men need to call me, he's a dilf. I'm not gonna say what it is because they'll bleep it anyway. I told my mom what milf was the other day. She goes, oh my God. See that, I made it a positive thing. So that no one can come at me. 